Hey everyone, GC Performance here back with another video and today I have for you guys the 2022 Pinarello Dogma F but in a very special rim brake version. Uh, these bikes were very rare and very hard to find for consumers. As you guys saw probably in the tour uh, last year, a lot of pros were riding them for competition wise. But uh, as I was told by the per person about this bike, I think there's only about, they said maybe about 20 of this model with the rim brake version on there sold to United States for consumers to buy. So very hard, very rare to find. Um, and I think people probably would have bought more if there was a case of it. But again, something really, really cool that I think that other companies should adopt. I know they have to make different frame molds and it becomes more expensive, but um, it does give people the option and choice to pick what they want to do. So cool for Pinarello Dogma to give you guys the rim brake versus the disc brake option. Uh, also, as you guys noticed, I didn't put the weight at the beginning of the video. I'll be putting it somewhere in the middle of the video uh just so that way you guys can see so that way you guys i'm sure you guys just click this video so that way you guys see the weight of it so it'll just be somewhere randomly in there of what the weight is on this bike this is a size 53 uh and it is specced with uh some different wheels i'll show you it's just kind of like a custom build but very cool and also it's been a while since i've worked on anything with a rim brake version so it was very weird to work on it I, I haven't had a rim brake bike in my stand forever especially doesn't make any rim brakes on there anymore so uh, a rim brake high-end road bike it definitely feels a little bit weird, but it came out really nice. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go over the whole bike, talk to you guys about it. Again, if you guys wanna find this bike, they're they're close to impossible to find, especially rim brake, and then you have to outsource a group for that as well. So this gentleman was very lucky, and thank you again to this customer, or to this uh, person who let me this bike to make this video, so. But it is a gorgeous bike, and uh, I was actually shocked at the weight. I thought it would be a little bit lighter than what it was, but you guys will see in a little bit. So you guys can just click through the video to find it. Um, but again, size 53, Pinarello Dogma F, full can be super record, 12 speed EPS with, uh, these are Princeton Carbon Works, 4540, uh, the, the grit 4540 wheels. And man, it looks really, really good. So without further ado, we'll get into all the specs and everything like that. So starting off with the front, it is their Ultra Talon carbon fiber one piece bar and stem combo full carbon fiber barn stem i believe if i'm not mistaken this is like a thousand dollars just for this part alone which is absolutely mind-blowing but it is that works it's a most brand it's made by pinarello it works with pinarello the best uh, the cables are ran through here through here down the frame but really cool i mean it must it must be a crazy rear brake line this rear brake is literally ran from here into the frame down the stem down here it doesn't come out through the exit point and it goes down here i'm guessing yeah obviously and then pops over here so crazy cutouts for that i mean look at that rear brake that rim brake and it feels actually feels good for a rim brake what it was but it goes through here through here through here a lot of bends and twists and turns for that rear brake to actuate and that's i don't know if you guys ever saw the video i did talking about why the industry went disc brakes or, or when chris room was talking about disc brakes and that that he hated him um that's the, that's the main reason why i think that the industry went disc brakes is to be able to make these i know everyone says like it's like for like you know safety features stuff like that I think they want to push the limits of what they can do for making these bikes crazier. So with hydraulic hoses, you don't have to worry about this cable getting crimped. So the hydraulic hoses ran through here, through here, through here, and the brake still feels great and it still actuates better and they're getting better at it. But with a rim brake, you're limited to that. Like on the Venge Vice, when you have all these bends and kinks, you're bound to get that cable to, to screw up harder. And you want to talk about adjusting a headset or work on, let's say people say, oh, rim brakes, bikes better. This bike, I'm sure, will still be a little bit of a pain in the butt to put a replacement headset in there because that rim brake is ran integrated. So, um, but yeah, it still is pretty lightweight for what it is. Uh, we have the most uh, computer stem and mount on here as well. We have the Campy Super Record 12 speed shifter as well, very ergonomic. And because it is not hydraulic hoods, you have a much sleeker looking design, much slimmer looking design as well. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference between the hydraulic and non hydraulic versions. We have on here a Supercast bar tape with the oil slick uh, Galaxy logos on there. We have the EPS charge right here as well for 12 speed. And then the Campy direct mount brakes with the yellow brake pads on there for carbon uh, fiber. Been a really long time since I've seen direct mount brakes, but they look really good. Going down to the front of the wheel, these are the Princeton, uh, Princeton Carbon Works Grit 4540s. Um, and they're built with white industry hubs. So the way this works, and again, these are different layups than the uh, disc brake models. You can see they actually skip a nipple hole each time. So it's pretty cool actually. But the cool thing about Princeton is that they do also offer 
they're top tier wheels with a disc brake version and a rim brake version. And you can get them built any way you want. But you have the rim brake track here. He's running a Vittoria Corsa 700 by 28, and he's also running a Tubus on here. So it looks really clean. Bladed spokes, white industry hubs, like I said. And we have our little quick lease over there, which we don't see anymore on these high-end bikes. Beautiful paint job in the silver. We have the matte silver that fades to a black. And then you have the chrome logo. You have the dog logo. You have the F logo there as well. We have our Pinarol stem, the most. And then we have on here bottle cages by most as well. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber. And then we'll go down to the crank. It is a super record carbon fiber crank, 172.5. And I believe a 52... 36 chain ring and then our super record front derailleur as well 12 speed chain and then going to the back the cassette that is their super record cassette uh i believe that is a 1128 cassette and then we have their super record derailleur. again i'll say this before i'll say this again whenever you think pinarello you think of campy now when you think of pinarello you also think of these princeton wheels but campy to me is like jewelry Jewel, jewel jewelry it's like jewelry oh, to be honest with you man 2022 Pinarello Dogma F in a rim brake version, size 53, weighing at 15 pounds, 13 ounces. And in kilos, that is 7.19 kilos. Stay tuned to after video where you hear a free buy sent us on these Princeton's 4540 wheels. Thank you. But yes, Campy is like jewelry to me. This stuff just literally looks like it should be worth a lot of money. It looks sleek, the design looks crazy. The raw carbon that's exposed looks really, really nice. The 12 speed cassette with a different color of the changing as well looks really nice. The rear derailleur itself, it just it just looks different now downside to campy super expensive but also uh not a lot of shops will have the proper tools to work on a 12 speed chain a 11 speed chain a free wheel driver body remover they all have proprietary parts or proprietary tools to work on stuff but if you got a shop that's going to work with you very nice uh, we have some exposed carbon layup right here we have the dog f logo right there as well and then we have the rear flat direct mount disc brake right here i'm sorry i don't even know why i said disc brake it's like muscle memory uh, rear direct mount rim brake on here again. So campy it says rear is labeled. It looks clean. It looks really good. And then again, right here we have the Princeton Carbon Works Grit 4540s and the rear as well. A little bit wider of a rim. 720 Victoria Corsair tire. They're tubeless. That's a little preview of what the bottom bracket, or sorry, that free body sounds like there. But absolutely gorgeous. This is where you're going to go ahead and loosen that wedge up as well. Four new mirrors. That's where you tighten up the seat wedge to, to have the seat post there. And then I thought this was pretty interesting too. Because this is a rim brake version, you have to have some kind of spacing because all the hubs are made the same now with these wheels and everything like that with the disc brake. You have to have some kind of bridge gap. So this just looks a little bit weird in the back, but that's what you have to do to accommodate for it. We also do have on here on the stages power meter as well. Super record crank. So this is outfitted with a stages power meter for the non-drive side. And then the bottom bracket is an Italian uh, threaded BB as well. Saddle he has on here is going to do the most carbon fiber saddle. Nice wide platform for comfort. Nice wide cutout for a lot of blood flow. But that is it, guys. This bike is absolutely gorgeous. The rim brakes look really good. He had on there, I think, time pedals. So I took them off for the video. But you guys will see the weight that I just posted. Again, I know the Pinarello weight. I know this frame compared to the disc brake frame. This frame alone is lighter, um, but I wish it was just a little bit lighter. Now you can go with different wheels, you can do, go with different tires, but still a very light bike for what it was. I believe it was 7.14 kilos as you see right there, but that's with cages and this Garmin mount as well. So pretty light, but absolutely gorgeous bike. The price tag, I don't know on this thing. If I had a guess, probably 15,000, somewhere around there but absolutely insane but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you guys again so much for watching thank you again to the the gentleman who let me do the video on the bike with the rim brake on here because like i said it is impossible to find and i thought it was a really cool feature bike to show off here so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one uh free buy sound test grit 4540 princeton wheel with a white industry hub uh on a dogma f this uh rim brake here we go one second Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.